Hey everybody, uh, this is a fast lesson. It's finding perimeter. So let's get started. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. So here we go. So our question is how can we measure perimeter? So we're going to use a measuring uh, tool, which is uh, either a, uh, an inch uh, an inch ruler or a centimeters ruler. So here we go. We have this notebook here. So let's estimate the perimeter of a notebook in inches and record your estimate. So we're going to use a ruler to, uh, to measure this side and then measure this side. Now, we don't need to measure this side because this side is going to be the same as the top right here. And similarly, this side over here is going to be the same as this side over here. So we just need to measure the top and the side right there. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe 30 inches. I don't know. Whatever, you know, 30, 25, 20 inches. I don't Just a guess. I don't know. What's that? I'm just guessing maybe 5 and, and 10. So I... I I don't know. Uh, so 10, 20. So this would be 5, and this would be 15 over here, and this would be another 5. So that would be uh, 20, and then another 10. I'm just guessing. So so maybe about 30 inches right here. So let's go ahead and uh, use an inch ruler to measure the lengths of each side of the notebook to the nearest inch. Okay. All right. So here's a a ruler. Now now this is uh, this ruler is really not to scale. I'll show you towards the end of this uh, lesson uh, the ruler that is to scale. So so um, I mean this picture right here is uh, several inches right here. So to get this little notebook in here, I had to shrink up this ruler. So uh, that uh, I have a notebook in my classroom and I, I measured it and it measured to be about you know if I if I line up notice I'm lining it up this is where the zero starts right here it doesn't start at the end of the ruler it starts right there so if I line up that zero it looks like it's gonna be I don't know to the nearest inch I'm guessing about six inches and then when I uh, you know tilt it sideways to measure how tall this is to the nearest inch okay I'm gonna lay that down right about there so you know to the nearest inch I'm thinking about eight inches right there so six on top and eight down the side well that's down this side right here okay so that means it's going to be eight on this side and six down here on this side right here okay so we're going to go ahead and add the lengths of those sides so we're going to add six plus eight plus six plus eight again and that's going to give us the perimeter it's the lengths all the way around the side okay so <clears throat> 6 plus 8 is 14, and then 14 plus 6 is 20, and then 20 plus uh, 8 is 28. So the perimeter is going to be uh, 28 right there, okay? So the perimeter of the notebook uh, covered, uh, the notebook cover measured to the nearest inch is going to be 28 inches. So we got pretty close to our estimate right there. Our estimate was a little bit more than what we thought right there. I don't know if you can hear the birds in the background. There's some birds outside and we have a lot of birds in our neighborhood so all right so uh, we're gonna uh, find the perimeter of these rectangles here's a rectangle and then here's a square right here so they want us to find uh, the perimeter of this rectangle in in uh, inches because it says use an inch ruler and then this one says use a centimeter ruler so here's a centimeter ruler it's kind of hard to see right there so I tried to draw it to scale and so uh, you can't even see it. So, but this is to scale to this uh, square that I that I drew on here. So, let's see. We'll cover that in just a second. Let's let's get this guy over here. Okay. So here we go. Uh, and I'll show you what it is really uh, in real life on this screen right here. This is much bigger in real life. So so um, this rectangle. If this was in my textbook, you guys, and I picked up a ruler and I measured it, I'm guessing it would be about eight inches right there. And then if we turned it sideways, I think. It it was about four inches right there so let's see let's slide that down right there yeah it's about four inches so I'm gonna say eight inches on top four inches down the bottom right there so so I'm gonna put the eight there and the four there and then we'll put another eight down here and another four down here because remember perimeter is to add them up all the way around so four plus eight is um, is 12 and then 12 plus 4 is 16 16 plus 4 is 24 so the perimeter is going to be 24 inches okay all right now this one here it's really hard to see you guys I think it was 12 centimeters right here so you know if we lined it up this this is upside down I know it's hard to see it's about this number right here and so it's it had you know to try to draw at the scale right there so 
if we increased it it was this 12 right here okay so that 12 so if we just go around and measure it it's 12 centimeters there's a centimeters are much smaller than than inches in fact there's uh, between two and three centimeters per inch right there okay so um so 12 centimeters all the way around it's a square so if we measure them we're going to add up uh, 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 and so that's going to get us um uh, 12 plus 12 is is 24 24 plus 12 is 36 finally 36 plus 12 is going to get us 48 so the perimeter is 48 centimeters okay now here they are to the actual lengths right here okay so I I picked up a ruler in my class and I held it right up to my screen right there so that's how big you know a real ruler is on my screen when I'm sitting there and this is my uh, my centimeter ruler on that one right there okay I told you that was a short lesson take care